<laughs> hey, BJ from Board Game Gumbo, got my guest here, Glenn it. Flaherty from Board Games and Bourbon, and we're talking spicy hot games. And I want to talk to Verla about a game because this game has been recommended for the Spiel de Joris. And all I know is that I'm seeing everybody post about it on social media, including a lot of chatter in our little in our little uh, chat group about it. But I, I don't know anything about it. Glenn, do you know anything about Harmonies? If not, I never even heard of it. I'm going to turn it over to Verla. And Verla, tell us what Harmonies is all about. Harmonies just appeared out of nowhere. I don't think it was on Kickstarter. It was just all of a sudden out in retail and everybody was posting about it online. I don't have a copy yet, but I've had a chance to play it three or four times with some friends' copies. I've been describing it as Reef and Cascadia have a baby and put it in a calico crib. Oh. So, <laughs> Well, I like all three of those games. So, I like all three of those games. I have all three of those games and still feel like I need harmonies on my shelf because it's just fantastic. It's got these big, gorgeous, colorful, chunky pieces that represent like water and uh, fields and mountains and buildings and whatnot. But you've got these animal cards with super, super adorable, gorgeous art. Um, that have goals on them for how you're trying to lay out the little tiles. Oh, it's also kind of like a Zool because you've got this centerpiece that you're getting your your pieces from. Um, and it, it's very reminiscent of a Zool's little, what do they call them? You know, they're factories, I think they call them. Oh, the factory factories. tiles? Yeah. Factory Just the way, you, the, the way you take them. I guess you don't have them going in the middle, but you take from a factory basically, and then it gets refilled. Um, it plays really quickly. You've got a board, so you're you're limited, and it's two sided uh, with different designs on it um, for the way you can play it. Uh, but there's just lots of replayability with it. You're building um, up 3D and kind of scoring from a bird's eye view, like in Reef, and trying to get different combinations based on the animal cards that you select um, to have your little ecosystem in harmony with everything around it. So I'm glad. I'm glad this game is getting attention, not necessarily for the game itself, but I know like if you have like something that's offbeat <clears throat> or not like the darling, you know, a lot of great games get overlooked, you know, so I'm glad that it, it got attention. Oh, that's really yeah. cute. This little face is on top. That is super adorable. Yeah, that's great. Hey, thanks for checking in. Nacho Luke. Some of us are from South Louisiana. But the other three are not from uh, South Louisiana. So, the rest yeah. of us are from North and, and West Louisiana. The other three are from, <laughs> if you've been to Montreal, you've basically been where they were. <laughs> yep. Basically. So that's hard. Did, did the little little silly eyes come with the game, or is that just no, that's somebody's picture? cute picture? Oh, okay. I was like, wow. Man, you, have, you have little cubes. So your cards will have two to four um, spaces to put cubes on them when you take the card. And then when you fulfill that card's um, little mission of how you've placed your tiles, you take a cube off. And so the the highest you get with taking your cubes on is how much you'll score at the end of the game for each okay. card. Neotopia has a doesn't have the cube part, but it's got the same put out the uh, color tiles mm -hmm. and you're trying to match the cards in your hand or the cards in the market. So okay. I mean, I like games like that because there's always the, you know, I'm helping you, but I'm really helping myself. But uh, also kind of reminds me of a game called Garinto from that description. Of course, it might be different I've when I play it. I've played heard Garinto. the name of that, but I've never played it either. Yeah. It's about stacking things and things move and you're trying to, you know, complete cards and stuff like that. Okay. I, it's very photogenic, uh, Verla, by the way. Very much so. Yeah. And I like, I like the artwork. The artwork is gorgeous. The colors are lovely. Those tiles are just so satisfying and chunky and mm -hmm. so in the picture great. i have in that corner that the, the that black, black tile with all yes the that's where they put that's like the factories that i was talking about that they put it the looks like it'd on. be a good gift game that you could pick up mm -hmm. from barnes and noble yeah i would agree with oh. that they have this window of two or three years. Right. So you see these late catch up. Uh, it's not like the Oscars in that right. sense. You you could be a really great movie that's released this year, but still be eligible for the Oscars in 2025. 
Um, so Make it, sure it doesn't get caught in your uh, packing yeah. tape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it might be I think in the it's on the floor. <laughs> I just like race across right in front of me. 